All right, so just another question here related to the cross product. So we've got some unknown vector A, and we have the vector B. Uh, vector B has the components 2, 4, 6. We know that the cross product it has components 8, negative 6, C. C is unknown. We want to find that value of C. Well, we can't compute the cross product directly because we don't really have any information about vector A. But what we can do um, is we can make a couple observations. So recall when we take the cross product, the cross product is going to be a vector that's perpendicular, perpendicular to the original vectors. So it's going to be perpendicular to both vector A and vector B. Well, recall if we take the dot product of two vectors that are perpendicular, the dot product has to equal 0. Again, this new uh, cross product is going to be perpendicular to vector B. Their dot product is going to be 0. We're going to use that to create a little equation that we can solve. So, okay, A cross B, again, that has components 8, comma, negative 6, comma, C. We can dot that with vector B, which has components 2, comma, 4, comma, 6. And again, we know at the end of the day this has to equal 0. So what we can do is multiply respective components. So 8 times 2 will be 16, plus we'll take uh, negative 6 times 4, which will be negative 24, plus we'll do C times 6, which will be, well, 6C. And now we can simply solve this for C. So uh, 16 minus 24 will be negative 8, plus 6C, that equals 0. Well, we can add the 8 over. We can divide both sides by 6, and that tells us that the value of C would have to equal 4 thirds.